What's going on guys? In this video today, we're gonna to cover how you can leverage Vexels to create low and no content book interiors and covers for your KDP business. Now, if you guys haven't heard of Vexels, they're a platform that has over 70,000 different graphics from PNGs and vectors to print ready designs. You can literally download and upload to the print on demand platform of your choosing. And they've recently also added KDP assets specifically for low and no content booksellers. So covers and interiors, and that's what we're covering today in this video. Now, in honor of Black Friday, Cyber Monday, from today through Monday, the 22nd end of day, you guys can also sign up for the annual or lifetime plans using my link down below in the description, and you'll get 55% off your subscription, so a huge deal. But on top of that, three lucky people will actually be chosen at random to receive a full refund. So all you have to do to do that is sign up for a new subscription on the annual or lifetime plans using my link. And how this works is one person who signs up for an annual plan will be chosen and given a full refund and two people on the lifetime plan. So if you guys have been thinking about using Vexels, make sure you go ahead and do that today. Now, if you're watching this after Black Friday, Cyber Monday, you'll still be able to sign up for Vexels and get a discount by using my link. So check that out if you guys are interested. So with all that stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and hop right into this video. All right, guys, so let's hop right into this. So for our new KDP notebook or journal or whatever kind of products we're creating, we really just need two elements. We need the cover and then we need the manuscript. So in this video, I'm just gonna let you guys know, I'm not gonna get into the weeds with formatting or anything else. I just wanna show you guys what is possible by using Vexels and the design elements that they have. So this is actually an example of a KDP low and no content notebook that I've created using Vexels in the past. So the cover, everything inside was all done with Vexels elements. And this gets a couple sales here and there every single month. So it's not a big seller, but hey, if we can go do this a hundred times or more, it's gonna make a nice little income stream for us with KDP. So first we're gonna start with the cover. So you guys don't need a subscription to do this. You can head over to Vexels to actually just check out what they have. Tons of cool stuff in here. So I definitely encourage you guys to go check that out if you're kind of on the fence or thinking about using Vexels. Uh, but the cool thing is we can either just type something in up here and just kind of search for a niche or for different design assets um, and just start from scratch and download different elements. Or we can also filter by product type. So I'm actually gonna filter by KDP designs. You'll see this is filtering book cover design. And there's about 800 different book covers in here at the time of recording this. Remember KDP assets are still relatively new to the Vexels platform. So they're adding a ton to this. Uh, but you'll see they have a ton of different kind of pre-made cover designs and even interior. So like this planner interior, uh, and if we scroll around and look around here, there's tons of different stuff. So if you guys already have a niche in mind or just wanna start with something easy, uh, you can just download one of these ready to go uh, covers. And that's what we're gonna do for this video. So I actually have the example that I showed you guys, this jungle maze uh, cover here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and download this. And when you download it, they're all different, all the files are different, but you get a zip file here. And when we unzip that, uh, we have kind of the popular pre-formatted sizes in here already. So we have the five by eight, six by nine, eight and a half by 11, eight by 10. And the other cool thing is they also give us a text file that tells us what fonts are actually being used on the cover. So in this case, Slacky and Blinker. Uh, remember that that's gonna come in handy a little bit later uh, when I show you guys what we're gonna do. So the first thing we need to do is go and actually create this cover file. Uh, so I like to use Canva, although you can use really whatever design tool you want. Canva's free, so that's why I'm using it for the example in this video. And we need to create a new design, but first, before we do that, we have to know how big our cover is actually gonna be. And that's gonna come down to what the trim size is and then how many pages are inside. Because remember, even though we're doing a six by nine uh, notebook or journal, the thickness is gonna depend on how many pages are in the interior. And so one easy way to actually get the true and proper dimensions is to use this uh, calculator here. And I'll put a link to this down below in the description. Um, so we just need to enter our trim size. I like to do six by nine because I found that's just a popular size and it works really well, especially with what we're gonna do for this example. I'm gonna do 120 pages and we can choose the paper type, but it doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna calculate the cover size. And it's gonna spit out that the width here is 12.52 inches by 9.25 inches. So I'm gonna take that back over to Canva and we can go ahead and create a custom design. So I already have this entered here. And that's gonna open this up. Now, if we don't wanna make any edits whatsoever to our uh, file that we've downloaded from Vexels, then we could literally just go ahead and upload this file. Now it's in PDF format. So the one thing I would have to do here is I would have to convert this. Um, so I'm on a Mac, I'm just gonna open this in preview. And I need to convert it to a PNG or a JPEG, something that 
uh, Canva can recognize. And so let's go ahead and hit export. And we're just gonna save it as a JPEG on our desktop. I'm gonna close out of this. And we can just go ahead and upload this uh, right into Canva. So let's go desktop. And then all we would need to do is put that in here and just kind of squeeze it over, make sure it fills up our screen and download this file, we're good to go. So very easy if you don't wanna make any changes whatsoever. In fact, that's what I did in my example is I didn't really change anything except for, I believe I changed this age range. Let's just see. Yeah, so I did make an edit to this age range, but that was it uh, and uploaded it. So obviously that is something we can do, but let's say we want to take it a step further. This is a great start, but we wanna actually customize this a little bit for ourselves just so it stands out in case other people are using our design or maybe we don't wanna do a maze theme. Uh, so in this case, what I want to do is customize this. I want to change this so it says jungle coloring book. Okay, so one easy way that we can do this, we can obviously, again, use a ton of different uh, tools to do this, Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, etc. cetera. Uh, but there is a free tool online and I've been loving this. This is Photopea. Again, I'll link to this down below in the description. It's free. It's essentially like an Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop, I guess. Um, and it makes it really easy to just create designs or do what we want here online. So let me go ahead and open up the Adobe Illustrator file. So we go back in here and the AI file, and that's gonna load, I'm gonna pause this really quick. All right, so this is loaded up. We can see that the different formatted sizes are here. Um, so I'm just gonna easily crop this. And guys, remember, I'm not a designer. I'm sure there's probably better ways to do what I'm doing, but uh, this works for me. So I'm guessing since I know how to do this, it's gonna work well for you. So I'm just gonna crop down so I can really focus on my six by nine over here. So let's get this right. All right, and let me zoom in a little bit on this. Okay, cool. So uh, now what we need to do is just clean this up a little bit. I told you guys I was gonna change this so it says jungle coloring book. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just delete off some of these items that I don't really need. Just like that. And then I'm gonna use this one and let's go ahead and change up the text. And we'll resize this. All right. So just like that, very easy to do. Uh, the other thing, when I said earlier that it was important that they have the uh, font names in there, it's really easy in case you guys, you know, you, maybe you've deleted too many pieces and you need to know what font you've actually used. Uh, we can just reference the text file that they provided and that tells us what font this actually is. Um, so obviously if I wanted to make other changes here, this is really where I can get as creative as I want. Now again, for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna do a ton more, but let's say we wanted to actually add, um, you know, one other element. Maybe we don't like what's over here. Uh, so what I can do is I can just delete off the stuff I don't like. So let me just delete these off. All right, so let's just assume I want to add some element here on the back. Obviously, if I were spending more time on this, I'd clean these things up as well. But we can hop back over to Vexels now and let's just search for something else that kind of fits the theme. So I'm just gonna search a jungle here. And again, there's tons of stuff we can use, all kinds of different elements, but uh, I'm gonna just use this little panther kind of image here, download this. And again, we're gonna open up our zip file. And again, guys, comes with a bunch of different sizes and images, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go back over here and let's go ahead and hit file, open in place, and find our new Black Panther to add. Uh, let's see, which one is it? Here we go, the PNG file. Okay. And now we just kind of place it however we want to make sure it looks good. All right, I'm going to put that right there. Okay, cool, so just like that, we have something that's pretty functional. Uh, and obviously if we want, we could spend pretty much unlimited amounts of time just customizing this. If I wanna change the age range here, or any other elements, I can go ahead and do so. But for the sake of this example, let's assume this looks great. We wanna roll forward with this. Now we just need to actually go ahead and export this and I'm gonna export it as a PNG file and hit save. 
And now that has downloaded to our computer. So we can hop back over to Canva. Let's delete this out. And we can upload our new file right in here. And so guys, just like that, we've spent you know a few minutes here just customizing this. And now we have our own custom version of that same uh, same cover. So we've added coloring book. We've added a new kind of Panther image here. Uh, so we can go ahead and just download this. And now our cover is pretty much good to go. So again, there's kind of unlimited different ways that we can actually customize this and improve it how we want, uh, but it doesn't take a lot of time. So once we've done this, the next thing that we need to do is just go ahead and actually create the interior portion of our low and no content book. So let's go ahead and do. All right. So for the interior, obviously this is where it's important to remember the formatting piece of the equation. Uh, so trim, bleed, uh, the margins. Now I'm not gonna talk about too much of that in this video, but I will put a helpful link uh, down below for you guys uh, to the KDP page that talks about uh, the trim size, the bleed, the margins. This is really useful. And there's tons of other YouTube videos about formatting, so I won't cover that uh, in this video. So let me go ahead and close out of these. And so, Again, guys, we're going to go back over to Vexels now, and there's lots of other cool assets that we can go ahead and search for. So I'm going to hop out of this and let me just type in coloring book. And we're just going to pull from what we see here. I want, again, something that's going to kind of fit my theme so we could kind of dig through here and just look for different bundles. And let's see if we can find something decent here. Uh, so like this one down here has a coloring book bundle with a bunch of different, looks like animals. Now they're not all jungle themed, but that's all right. And we're gonna go ahead and hit download on this and unzip it. And let's see what's in here. So we have just a bunch of PNG files uh, of different animals that we can use for our interior. So I'm gonna move this over to the side. Now we're gonna go back to Canva. And now we need to create a new uh, interior file in here. And so remember we're doing a six by nine size. So for this, we don't need to look anything up. Very easy. We're just gonna click create a design. And we will do a custom size. Oops, six by nine inches. And create new design. Now, I, again, I like to do 120 pages. Obviously, if you guys wanna do a different size for your file, that's just fine. Uh, but we can do it all in here. So what I'm gonna do first is kind of create just a very simple um, cover or kind of a first page for this, this thing so that someone could put their name in here or something like that. So let's go ahead and add some text. And first thing I'm gonna do is change it to uh, a text that we know is being used on the cover. So that's gonna be Blinker. And let's just put some text in here. Let's just see. All right. This book belongs to and I'm going to change the line spacing just a bit. All right. And then let's just go ahead and add some simple lines here. So I'm going to add two of these. Make it a little bit thinner. Okay. And let's add one more. And now if I wanted to, I could maybe even put like some kind of animal here, but uh, I'll come back to that in a sec. Um, the other nice thing is now we can also switch to grid view. So as we're kind of designing and want to see all the different pages that we have, we can switch up to grid view over here if we want. And we can also duplicate these. Now I'll come back to that in just a second. So I'm going to actually create kind of a two paging style. So one page with a open area to draw on and then a second side or the other page with actually one of the coloring graphics. And so what I like to do for this, and the reason I do this is because, um, KDP will not allow us to do blank pages. So that's something important to keep in mind is that we can't do blank pages. Otherwise the book will get rejected. And so if you want to do something similar to this, you would want to at least put a page number or lines or something else like that. Now, again, guys, remember, you will need to consider the bleed here in the margins. 
Uh, I'm not doing that for this video, but that is something to keep in mind. You don't want your image or anything to get cut off. All right, so I've just created kind of a simple space where someone could come and just, you know, draw whatever they want. Now what I wanna do is on the other pages, just go ahead and create uh, something with our, our little animal. So I've already uploaded these in here and we can just go ahead and add these. Obviously I can't really see these very well, which is uh, not super useful, but all right, so there we go. I'm not even gonna do anything else. And now what I wanna do is go back to the grid view and we can actually easily just duplicate these. Obviously it's gonna take a lot of time to just kind of manually recreate every single one of these. So instead what I wanna do is duplicate them. And if you're on a Mac, you can hit Command D for this. Uh, you can also, uh, you can also uh, hold Command D if you wanna create a bunch of these like so. So that's good for now. So now let's create a couple more blank pages and we'll just populate these a bit more. And this is really where it's up to you guys how much time you wanna spend on this. But let me go ahead and upload a few more of these. All right guys, so I added a couple more in here. If I go back to grid view, we can see that we have added a few elements in here, so it's starting to kind of come together. We can repeat this process as much as we want, and I just wanna reiterate, we can always go back over to Vexels and just keep grabbing different design elements that we want to include. So maybe we we'll want to look at other things and have some pages that don't have, you know, coloring objects, but just have kind of cool designs. We can search for jungle again. And, you know, maybe we want to just put in some of these kind of fun animals in there or like caption bubbles. Uh, we, you know, sometimes you can even find other stuff that's not in the coloring uh, book bundles that you can use for these, these different templates that we have. Uh, so again, these are just all examples of some of the things you can do. So it's really up to you what you want to do with your creative process here. Now, one other thing I like to do, and this is going to require a separate tool, but is sometimes I actually like to also add uh, some like mazes or some kind of games in here. And one really cool way that we can do that is by using BookBolt, which I'm going to pull up here. So BookBolt has a tool called PuzzleWiz, which allows you to pretty much generate different kinds of games for these books that we can use. So for example, I like to add a maze. So I can actually come right here and create a maze book. Uh, now I've already created one before, so I'm just gonna download that and show you guys what it would look like. And so this is kind of a whole separate thing in and of itself. But in this case, what I'm gonna do is just very simple. I'm just gonna screenshot this and then upload it uh, to my Canva design that we're creating right now. So let me come back over here and Go ahead and hit upload. You can see I've already uploaded this before, but now I have a maze being added and now we can go, let me create a new page here for this. And we can go ahead and put our maze right on here. All right, cool. So again, guys, that's pretty much how this whole process works. And now I just need to go through and fill out my remaining pages to get me up to 120 pages. Obviously right now I only have 11. So it does take a little bit of time, but this is relatively easy to do. And we can come up with really strong interiors for different styles of books that we want uh, for our low and no content book business. So one other tool I just wanted to give a shout out to that's really useful is uh, I love pdf.com. This is another free tool. Uh, and really it allows you to do a bunch of cool stuff with PDF files. But one of the things I wanted to point out is we can use this to actually quickly add page numbers to a PDF file. Uh, so we can upload the file here and then it will actually go and generate page numbers and put them on each page of our PDF document. Uh, so this would be done after we export the full file out of Canva and actually then go upload it. So once I'm done with this, once I've added all of my 120 pages or however many we're doing, I just need to go ahead and download this file. And that's pretty much it. So as you guys can see, there's a ton we can do here. This is a very quick example and not in its entirety. But if you guys have questions on this, let me know down below in the comments. Or if you want to see a longer walkthrough, I tried to keep this short for the sake of this example. But this is kind of how we can go ahead and use Vexels to really populate a solid looking low and no content book uh, for our KDP business. So that is it for this one, guys. Let me know in the comments what questions you have.
All right, I hope that video was useful for you guys. Now you can kind of see how you're able to use Vexels to create KDP low and no content notebook, interiors, covers, and so much more. If you spend some time doing this, I'm sure you guys will be able to do a lot for your business. Now remember, if you're watching during Black Friday, Cyber Monday, you can sign up using my link to get 55% off your subscription and be entered for that chance to win a full refund on your subscription on the annual and lifetime plans. And if you're watching this after Black Friday, Cyber Monday is over, you can still sign up with my link to get a discount on your Vexel subscription. So check that out if that's something you guys are interested in. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. As always, subscribe to the channel for more on e-commerce, print on demand, KDP, and so much more. With that being said, guys, we'll see you in the next one.